Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to speak to you about joint pain. You know, in your, in your shoulders, in your knees, in your hips. Concerning older people like over 50. Uh, many, many of them are in some serious denial. I recently made a video about an 80 year old man doing uh, uh, chin ups, pull ups. So I've known him about a decade or longer actually. Uh, about 12 or 15 years all the way through his 70s into his 80s now and uh, just awesome example of somebody who has an amazing physique and just defies people see him all the time the first thing they they they, they say is man this guy is amazing look at the physique on this guy show me how many 80 year olds you see out there looking like him just show me and you can see he wasn't going all the way down and when he was going up his chin was nowhere near the bar it was extended far away you know I, and i see some of the comments making excuses for the man that he has mobility and he has flexibility. He was just doing partial reps. This is what they're saying. Now, I beg to differ. First and foremost, there is no 80 year old in the world that's bulky, muscular, and has good mobility. There is none, show me one. I don't wanna see a weightlifting. I wanna see, again, with all due respect to the gentleman in this video right here, I mean no disrespect. I am just here to state the facts. Bottom line, his trainer, and I mean this with respect, Mr. Hart, he needs to be fired. Why do I say that? Because he's hurting this man. He's not helping him. He's not helping him at all. Let me explain. Okay, look at the screen right here. I want you to see what extra weight. You can see how bulky he is. He's 81 years old, 80, 81 years old. He's way overweight for his age, way overweight. And Look on the screen right here, see what this says. How much impact does one pound have on your knee? Just one pound. We tend to think that one extra pound of body weight adds one pound of pressure to your knee, but that would be inaccurate. Think about your walking motion for a moment. When you walk, you transfer all your weight from one leg to the other. Then is a period of time when all the weight is only on one leg and the other leg is swinging in the air. The impact you, have, you are having on your knee is not equal to one pound, but instead is equal to four pounds, specific to those with osteoarthritis in a recent study. They did a study on this. That means that the extra pound of fat or even muscle, let me repeat, or even muscle, has an impact of 4,800 pounds for every mile you walk. If you are 10 pounds overweight, that is an equivalent of 48,000 pounds of extra compression on your knee joint. If you are curious why your knees hurt so much, this might give you a better idea as to why that is happening. This gentleman, again, you can see another part of the video, Mr. Hart says, how many 80 year olds look like him? I repeat, look at the word he used, look like him. Not many 80 year olds look like him. He's the only one I've seen that bulky. And even if, even if there might be a couple of more, I don't know. But the thing is, the magic word is look like him. Why doesn't Mr. Hart say not many 80 year olds feel like him? This man is way overweight. His BMI is way above his height and weight. I've, I've heard many professional doctors, even Mr. Artia said, BMI is not a good measure. That's, that's, that's bull. BMI is an important measure. It's not important when you're young. You know, when you're young, when you're 25 years old and you're 5'10 five, five, and you weigh 240 and you're a running back and you have the agility and you can move, you can carry, your body can carry the weight because you're young. But I guarantee you, when that man reaches 50 years old, he's gonna be suffering from pain if he maintains and keeps that body weight. Because your joints, your cartilage, your, your tendons, your ligaments, your muscles, everything weakens. In healthy aging, everything weakens. You don't have to be unhealthy. Even if you do everything right, you're still weaken. The point I'm trying to say is this. This 80 year old man and any other 80 year old man, even 70, even 60, bodybuilders, huge, they look really nice, but I guarantee you, they are some serious pain medication. They can't move. They lose mobility. 
they lose, they lose. And this is just walking. The, the, the pressure I just described earlier is 4x when you walk on a flat surface. If you walk up the stairs, it increases even further. Okay? Like me, you see me do videos where I'm jumping and jump back down for five feet. I'm six years old. I jump back down for five feet. I bounce like a springboard. I don't feel any, anything because I am, over the years, I figured out what the balance is of my body between muscle and body weight. I mean, I, I was heavier before. I was 200 pounds. I'm 5'8". And let me tell you something. No way would I be doing what I'm doing today. I'm about 160 today. Even if I increase my weight by 10 pounds, 5 pounds, I can feel the difference instantly in my joints. Not just my knees, my elbows, everything. If I bulk up a little, I can feel the difference. In my neck, I can feel the difference. I found the perfect body weight, and everyone should do this. More power to you. You want to be a bodybuilder? You want to be a strong man? You want to look bulky when you're 70 years old? More power to you. But don't get on the internet and say, I look good. Disclose how you feel, please. All of you. Disclose. You're bulky like that when you're 60, 50, 70. Disclose your feelings when you wake up in the morning, your hips. Especially if you try to run. If you try to run, the pressure on your knees is like God knows how, how much. Maybe even if you sprint, it might jump to 10 times, 10x the pressure of your body weight. So this is why all the guys have problems with their knees, with the meniscus. Okay, They have bursitis, arthritis, or osteoarthritis. They have elbow pains. I don't have any of this because I am older. I have nothing to prove. It's nothing to prove. When you're young, you know, you have the ego. You want to walk down the street, bulk. When you're older, different mindset. Now it's about longevity. It's about looking good, but slimmer and longevity. That's what you should focus on if you're over 50. What, what is the point? What, what, I mean, that's just my opinion. I just want to say that also, when you have... These joint pains constantly, because of the excess weight, you get chronic inflammation and stress throughout your body. You get cardiac issues, heart issues, because your heart has to work harder because of the excess weight to push the blood. You get lung problems because too much weight on your, on your lung. You're, not, you're just not as strong as you want to be able to maintain the weight. Even if you think that, you're not. This is why you can't run long distance, your VO2 max is low. You can't jump high. You can't spring like a, like, a, like a youngster. This is just part of it. There's more, but these, the weight, the excess weight from fat or muscle, it doesn't matter where it comes from. It doesn't matter where it comes from. If you have excess weight on your body, you are going to suffer some serious pain issues in your 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond. You can be in denial and make excuses for the gentleman in the video. Believe me, believe me when I tell you, that man is in pain. That man has too much weight on his, on his frame. Too much. He needs to get a new trainer where he trims down. Still maintain, you got to maintain muscle. You still maintain it, but you you need to trim down, you need to lose weight, you need to find the balance. Anyway, this is just my opinion, okay? From experience, from the way I move, no pains. I jump, hop, I, I, I can jump for 10 feet down and I'll just have to hop back up. I don't have any pains in my knees, in my ankles, in my feet, in nowhere because of this. Because I maintain good BMI. BMI is very important in older age. Don't believe what experts or doctors say because they, talk, they are talking about when a person is in his prime. You know, you can handle the extra weight. Anyway, have a great day. Hope the information helps in some way. See you in my next video.